Hello, we are Yoni and Sara, and we have lived in this van for eight years, traveled and lived in it, and at the moment travel in in Greece. Beautiful, stunning Greece, and Greece has to offer these gorgeous, totally free, natural hot baths and hot springs. Uh, we pinch bathe today because this Terapuli area is full of hot baths. Four of them we actually visited today. All of them! And it was so gorgeous to be soaking in that hot, bubbly, steamy water. It feels like you are in a sauna. Yeah, first hot baths, it was a couple of cars there. Not that popular place. It was approximately 30 degrees. Yes, warm and it was not smelly at all and it was uh, totally natural it was just uh, mm, there was a dam made and the water stayed there in a beautiful rocky mountainous area and after that we went to the most uh, popular one yeah the Thermopylus Thermopylus it's a large area uh, there is a uh, main baths on the upper side it's like 42 degrees really hot and then the uh, river flows downwards uh, where we were it was approximately 37 so perfect temperature and that's why there was so many people in that spot it's oh. one of the most popular hot springs in Greece so there were a lot of camper vans and a lot of travelers bathing and also some locals too but be careful when you come there there has been lots of breakings and so issues so it's better to be very cautious when you enter these but places. on that spot where we were it was 37 it was perfect uh, when you go up up in the stream it's like 39 and it gradually actually increases because yeah the river flows and the temperature goes down yeah but there's uh Bad for everyone, even on the uh, weekend when it's totally full of people. You can find the isolation yeah. place. Uh, it wasn't smelly at all. No. And it was really nice. And the water is like translucent and usually there's some kind of algae and uh, slimy things in a natural hot springs, but this was really clean. I think clear because of the stream is kind of powerful. So, so washed away everything yeah. there. Because yes, there's always some kind of algae li living there. And then we went uh, a little bit further. There was uh, a smaller one, not that popular one. Uh, there has been some uh, builded baths in the past. Kind of rubbled, but still clean and usable. Yeah, it wasn't that hot. I think there was two baths or two pools. pools. Another one was 25-ish and another one was maybe 27-ish. So it was um, uh, cooler, but still it doesn't smell at all. And 27 uh, with a winter time, like a sunny day like this, it's it's quite good. Yeah, it's like a normal warm pool. Yeah, so it was really nice uh, seeing those. Uh, and also there was this more natural huge pool, totally empty, we could choke there alone and it was a bit chillier too. Yeah, there is always a hot spots in the hot baths where basically where the hot water is coming from the ground. This is it. We did find the hot spot. Yes. Ah. <laughs> After that we went like 500 meters and came here. Uh, they have one, two, three, four, five uh, pools on this area and they are approximately 30 degrees, 32 maybe. And lots of egg smell. Yeah, this smells really well and you cannot be in the hot baths that long because the smell is kind of overwhelming and now it feels like our skins and clothes and our van and everything smells like a rotten eggs. But we went to the shower after after the bath, so. But yeah. still, I can yeah, smell, smell my arm. Yeah, it's it's eggy smell. Yeah, but I hopefully it's like a healing, powerful smell. Yeah, but really nice 
day of hot baths, yeah. wild hot baths. We are quite professional about the wild hot baths because we have visited at least maybe 70 percent of all wild Europeans. hot baths. Exactly. And I think our favorite hot baths was in Italy. I think in Italy. Yeah, there was this nice, uh, it was riverside. You could actually go to the God. pools. There was really small pools, like one per person pools. And then you could actually go to the river to cool down and go back there. And there was lots of pools, I think maybe 15. Yeah. And the hottest ones was like 55. So like you, a boiling. Boiling water, it's really hot. 55 is like, a, you cannot be there for more than a minute. Yeah, but Italy is heaven for the natural hot pools. And in Spain we did visit some hot springs too, but they were not that hot. There was one hot spring that was shit, but yeah. we still enter it and it was perfect. Yeah. But Greece is amazing, like these hot baths are really actually hot. Oh yeah, and we went to Bulgaria and one. Yeah, that, was, that was one of my favorites also. Yeah, it was really beautiful, not really uh, deep, kind of shallow and water was kind of murky and muddy, but the, There was not any egg smell at all. It smelled so clean. I like it also a lot. So it's uh, it's in the southern part of Bulgaria. Yeah. And, and we made a video about it, so... Yeah. Only one hot bath, wild hot bath that I want to visit is in uh, Albania. It's like a, the top one that I want to visit. It's middle of nowhere. It looks great. It's just perfect temperatures there. It's just beside the river, so everything ticks on that. Exactly. So when we go next time in Albania, we're gonna visit that. So how we can actually find these hot baths? There is a good, uh, not the map, it's not ready-made map, but list of uh, wild and semi-wild hot baths in Europe. Uh, you have to Google Natural Soaking Society. Uh, they have this blog and there is a post that they have a list of all European wild hot baths. They don't tell you right away where they are. Exact yeah. spots is. So you have to do some work to find them. But it's, uh, it's I think I think it's uh, in the scene or this. Uh, yeah, like talk to the locals and they will tell you where it is and everything is supposed to be a hidden little secret. And also it's because uh, people don't want to be the want to have these places too popular. Yeah. So they keep uh, more clean. Yeah. This is all about respecting nature and being silent and quiet and these are not the party places. I know it gets sometimes frustrating seeing a litter and use it condoms and trash here and beer bottles because this is supposed to be connect with the nature. Yeah, but wild hot baths our favorite thing. Whenever there is a wild hot bath in area we always stop there. Exactly. The These are our favorite destinations in Europe and it's so amazing to see that they are wild and free. Yes, I would love to visit Iceland. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of wild hot baths. Nice wild hot bath day. And being in these pools, hot pools, it feels like you are bathing in sauna. So you get really tired and worn out and it's really essential to drink a lot of fluids because you sweat. Yeah. Stay hydrated, guys. Yes, we will and go forward. Next destination. Thanks so much for watching our videos. Yes, See you next you. time. See you. Bye. Bye.